You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, YNR fans. Well, we have got some hot spoilers for next week. Jill Abbott is back and chewing Victor Newman a new one, while Ashley Abbott is grateful to be back and not just in Genoa City. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and let's dive into these juicy tidbits in advance of the full weekly spoilers I'll have for you tomorrow. And be sure to click subscribe if you've not already. So we've got a wedding spoiler to start with. Wednesday of next week, November 13th, is the 13,000th milestone episode of Young and the Restless, and that's the day Devon Hamilton marries Abby Newman at the brand new rebuilt Newman Ranch house that everybody loves. You're going to get to see the set fully on Friday's episode and it is gorgeous and there's going to be trouble at the wedding. Brighton James who plays Devon said something big goes down at the wedding and not a good thing. So I have no doubt that it's probably tied to unexpected guest Diane Jenkins who gets into some sort of a scene with her son Kyle Abbott that shocks many of the actual invited guests. To be fair, Diane was probably invited before, and maybe they didn't send out an un-RSVP once she and Jack broke up. So what's interesting about this is that Devon was expecting problems from Lily at the wedding. He was worried she'd start something with Victor and or Nikki because she is super salty about them betraying her lying and saying she could be the CEO when she took over Chancellor, when they took over Chancellor. What I think Lily should really be worried about is Jill, finding out that Lily was plotting with Nikki and Victor and assisting them in their efforts to try and steal Jill's company. Devon also is holding off until after their nuptials to confront Victor about his shady behavior. They had one small discussion, but this is far from over. The good news is that Devon has more allies arriving in town this week as Devon, his best man Nate, and his sister Lily hang out at the GCAC all dressed up in their nice wedding clothes. We're going to see Devon's mom and sister show up next week. Harmony is super excited to see her handsome son on his wedding day and Anna wants to know if her big brother is ready for this and he says that he is now that they are here for him. And just by the way, do you remember the last time that Devon got married? I do because it was super sad. I think I went through half a box of tissues. That was when Devon married Hillary Curtis on her deathbed just before she passed away. Remember, she was in that car crash. Lily was driving. They were bickering and their car got hit and Hillary was grievously injured and she ultimately succumbed to the injuries. Devon was furious, made accusations against Lily. And of course, she wound up in prison for a little short stint for vehicular homicide, even though You know, I mean, she was low key not paying attention, but she wasn't trying to murder anybody. And when she got out and, you know, was a felon at that point, Jill took a big gamble on her, brought her into the company and mentored her. And now we are seeing exactly how Lily is repaying her. And it is with betrayal and lies. So Devon definitely deserves to have a very happy day with Abby after that tragic last wedding. All right, next up, spoilers, have a confrontation between Victor Newman and Jill Abbott. As Victor comes into his office at the Newman Tower, he finds a very irritated Jill waiting on him. Now, here's the thing. Victor can't possibly think that Jill will be happy that he's trying to steal her company out from under her. And yes, I know that Catherine Chancellor left her company to him, but then Victor sold it to Jill, who, of course, is the mother of Philip Chancellor III and Grandma to Chance Chancellor. So she has deep ties to that family as well. Well, Victor's main axe to grind about the running of Chancellor, you know, and why he's trying to steal it is he doesn't want Billy Boy Abbott running it, and he is because Jill had gotten sick. And right now, Jill has no idea that Lily has been conspiring with Victor. And remember, he doesn't want Lily at Chancellor. So honestly, 
I would not be shocked if Victor ratted her out to Jill, kind of like he ratted Diane out to Kyle this week. Victor has been stirring the pot all over the place. He doesn't want Lily back at Chancellor because the company is weaker, he thinks, with just Billy at the helm. So Jill chews out Victor and tells him, I don't like to be kept waiting. And of course, Jill's going to confront Victor about what he's pulling, but he's not going to let up. He's determined to take Chancellor from her and hand it to Nikki just like he did when he gave her the keys to that new ranch house he built. So finally, let's talk about Ashley Abbott's long-awaited homecoming. Earlier this year, she had a serious mental health crisis. Many, many YNR fans have been bothered by the prevalence of simultaneously mental health storylines in 2024. And it just seems like Josh Griffith had one plot idea, so he just repeated it with three people. We had Connor Newman's OCD, which is still ongoing but well-managed. Sharon Newman remains in a bipolar spiral that has turned horribly homicidal, unless another culprit shows up in the killing of Heather Stevens. And then we had Ashley Abbott's dissociative identity disorder that resulted in her checking into a mental health clinic in Paris. So last week, Jack Abbott hopped a plane to go pick up his little sister Ashley and bring her home to Genoa City. So next week, Jack brings her home to the family mansion and Ashley tells her big brother she wasn't sure she was ever going to make it back. And let's be clear, she didn't mean back to Genoa City when she's telling Jack this. She means back from the brink of madness, basically, because her DID had gotten so bad. And of course, Jack is so happy to have her home, and Ashley is thrilled to be back for her daughter Abby's wedding. Now, one thing I do want to say is I think Jack may upset Ashley a bit more during this visit when it comes out that he's not really estranged from Diane Jenkins. That That's not a spoiler. That's my very firm theory. I am increasingly convinced that Jack and Diane faked their split with those publicly staged fights to convince Kyle and Victor and others. Diane's been sidling up to Victor, asking him to put her in charge of Glissade and fire Kyle. On a recent episode, Diane clarified why she thinks she can sue Glissade over the product that Kyle stole. Diane said she developed that formula. I'd said before that because Jack fired her from Jabot, she couldn't sue because it was Jabot's product. However, she clarified, and if she did indeed develop the idea and the patent is in Diane's name and she licensed it to Jabot, then yeah, she absolutely could sue Glissade for patent theft. And remember, one of Jack and Diane's last scenes where they were publicly cooperating and working together, they were at Crimson Lights talking to their lawyers about Kyle's theft and what they could do about it. So I think they planned this fake breakup as a way to get revenge on Victor, make sure Glissade couldn't use their stolen product, and reveal to Kyle exactly the kind of man that Victor is, knowing that he would betray Kyle to protect his investment in Glissade from going under from a lawsuit over this blatant corporate theft, because Victor right now feels like he has won. Jack has lost Diane, you know, Jabot is going to lose this product, And if Diane takes over at Glissade, Kyle will be furious at his parents and will stay estranged. I think Victor will feel like he got checkmate with that. So at the wedding, when Diane shows up in photos I've seen, Ashley looks disgusted and so does Jack. But I think Diane's husband is pretending. So she may be crashing as part of her plan to fake conspire with Victor. But I still feel like her real conspiracy is with Jack. But we'll see. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.